So what exactly is a mixed number? So let's say if we have the mixed number 2 and 1 fourth, what does that mean? So this really is the sum of a whole number and a fraction. So the mixed number 2 and 1 fourth, in terms of a visual illustration, imagine if you have two circles and a quarter of a circle. And let's say the circles are shaded. So we have two whole circles that are shaded and a quarter of a circle that's shaded. So this is equal to two and one fourth. And so that's the basic idea behind a mixed number. It's the sum of a whole number and a fraction. So for instance, three and two fifths is simply the sum of three plus two fifths. When dealing with mixed numbers, you need to know how to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. So consider the example 3 and 2 fifths. How can we convert that into an improper fraction? And what exactly is an improper fraction? 3 fourths is a proper fraction because the numerator, which is a 3, is less than the denominator, which is 4. 5 over 4 is an improper fraction because the value is greater than 1. The numerator is greater than the denominator. So how can we convert the mixed number into an improper fraction? The first thing you need to do is rewrite the denominator. So the denominator of this fraction will not change. That's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is you need to multiply these two numbers. So that's going to be 3 times 5 and then add the numerator to it. So 3 times 5 is 15 and 15 plus 2 is 17. So 3 and 2 fifths is equal to the improper fraction 17 over 5. Here are some more example problems that you could try. Go ahead and convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So the first thing you need to do is rewrite the denominator. That's not going to change. So if we see a 7 on the left, we'll need to rewrite it on the right. Next, let's multiply 5 times 7, and then let's add the numerator to that. So 5 times 7 is 35, and 35 plus 4 is 39. So 5 and 4 sevenths is equal to 39 over 7. Now feel free to pause the video and try the last two examples. So we're going to have a denominator of 9 based on what we see here. And then we're going to multiply 9 times 7. And then we're going to add 8 to it. So 9 times 7 is 63. And 63 plus 8 is 71. So the answer is 71 over 9. For the last example, it's going to be 6 times 7 and then plus 5. So 6 times 7 is 42. 42 plus 5 is 47. So this is going to be 47 over 7. Now, you need to know how to go backwards, how to convert an improper fraction back into a mixed number. So let's go over the first example where we had 17 over 5. And let's show that this is equal to 3 and 2 fifths. So there's different ways you can go about doing this. One technique is long division. How many times does 5 go into 17? 5 goes into 17 3 times. 5 times 3 is 15, and 17 minus 15 is 2. So the number that you see here, this is the whole number of the mixed number. And the remainder is going to be the numerator of the mixed number. And then the denominator will stay the same. So that's how you can get 3 and 2 fifths. Another way that you can do that is you can split the fraction into two numbers. The highest multiple of 5 just under 17 is 15. And if you subtract 17 by 15 you'll get 2. 
So what I would do is break up 17 over 5 into 15 over 5 plus 2 over 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 plus 2 over 5 will give you the same mixed number, 3 and 2 fifths. So that's another way in which you can convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. Now let's look at the second example, 39 over 7, and let's convert that to a mixed number. So I'm going to start with long division. How many times does 7 go into 39? 7 goes into 39 5 times. 7 times 5 is 35, and 39 minus 35 is 4. So the whole number of the mixed number will be 5. The remainder is 4, and the denominator will stay the same. So that's how you can show that 39 over 7 is 5 and 4 sevenths. So the other way to do it is to split this into two fractions. The highest multiple of 7 just below 39 is 35. So you want to write 35 over 7 as the first fraction. And to find a missing fraction, subtract these two numbers. 39 minus 35 is 4. And then you could divide 35 by 7. So 35 divided by 7 is 5. And 5 plus 4 over 7 is 5 and 4 sevenths. So that's the second way in which you can convert an improper fraction to a mixed number.